All right, continuation of my pico de gallo, and now I'm gonna show you how I make guacamole. So I use the same ingredients as the pico de gallo. And what I do is I, you don't have to crush it. If you like it chunkier, that's fine. I just put it in here, my pistol mortar, and just crush it a little bit. It gives it a little more juiciness in there. Alright, and that's it. And then, cook my avocados, I cut it. And, excellent, pop it out. And this is how, I bet you everyone thinks crushing an avocado, that normally to crush an avocado, you use a fork, a spoon. I use a fork. And this is what my friend Jose taught me. So you take the fork and, actually let's put it in another bowl first. And this is also the same way you do it for toast is you just take the fork and you mash it with the fork. Easy peasy. And it gives a good consistency. You don't have to worry about it. So you take the other one. Avocados, avocados, avocados. Love avocados. And you crush it. Look at that. See how that perfect that came out. And it's all mushy mushy. Just the same consistency that you want. And then what then I do is I take and I just kind of add this in there. You don't kind of add it until you feel like that the consistency is there. That you want and you might want to add a little more salt to this so you do it until you feel like the consistency is there if not you want it a little more wet add some more salsa so you kill two birds with one stone when you do this so see how I use the fork and I also mash the thing to make it so it's not as chunky. You can do that in the fist or just use your fork. And I am all done. That is homemade guacamole. Easy peasy, right? Easy peasy. And just want to take a chip, try it out, make sure it tastes right. You might need to add salt, pepper, whatever. Or not salt, pepper, just salt. There you go, folks. Bon provecho. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.